The Blackbriars are a formidable family. Headed by the matriarch, Maven Blackbriar, the family have come to own most of the city of Riften. From paying most of the guards to owning various businesses such as the Meadery and the Bee and Barb, this infamous family make an absolute fortune extorting the downtrodden people of Riften. But for all their power, it's safe to say that the Blackbriars are a family of idiots. I made a video a while ago on why the Silverbloods are idiots, and a simple mistake that their family made in Markarth also applies to Maven Blackbriar and her family in Riften. Whilst the power their family wields might be all well and good for them, the fact that the family treats those they preside over like dirt is not good for the family in the long term. Maul, who was employed by Maven Blackbriar as a thug, beats into submission mission and threatens any who don't comply with the Blackbriar's interests. An example of the family's iron fist is found in the quest Dampened Spirits. Although this example might not be one centred in Riften, the fact that Maven Blackbriar is willing to industrially sabotage her competitors halfway across Skyrim is testimony to her ruthless nature. In my mind, it's only a matter of time until one day she pisses off too many people, or perhaps the wrong person, and that might spell an end to the family's fortune. You only have to observe Maven Blackbriar at the market to see how little she cares for the average person. She will tell beggars to get out of my way, and she says to one beggar, get away from me you filthy woman. Clearly that's no way to endear oneself to the population. Another point to take into account is that it's thanks to Maven Blackbriar that the Thieves Guild flourishes in Riften. The guild is protected by Maven due to the fact she's bribed all the guards to turn a blind eye, and for this she makes frequent use of the guild services. Again, the people of Riften are not beholden to Maven because of this. They hate the Thieves Guild, and the fact it stifles the city's development and perpetuates the depravity that the city's poorest residents have to live in. You only have to speak to some merchants at their stalls, or to a shopkeeper to realise how miserable the people are because of the depravity of the city they live in. No thanks to Maven Blackbriar and her Thieves Guild friends. Maven Blackbriar is also a colossal idiot for pampering her children to the point her legacy is doomed. To give you an idea of her family members, here's a quick depiction. Maven has two sons, Hemming and Sibby, and a daughter, Ingen. Sibby is notorious in the town for his sadistic nature. The player can find him jailed in Riften's keep for murder. Apparently, he murdered his betrothed's brother after his betrothed had tried to kill him, presumably to get out of the marriage. Rumour has it that he's weird in the bedroom and has some odd appetites, and it seems that such weirdness might run in the family. His sister, Ingun, is a rabid alchemist. She spends every day training in Elgrim's elixirs, wholly disinterested in the family business. She says that her interest in alchemy comes from the fact that it's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body, watching the heart stop the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts, with thousands of different functions, all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realise how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony. The irony that the same world that gives us life provides us with the means to die. Although Sibby Blackbriar might be in jail at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if Ingen ends up in there in the near future. It's rather fitting that these two siblings are so evil given the family's name. A briar references a plant such as a rose, so the name Black Briar means Black Rose, and a Black Rose is obviously an ill omen connoting death, a fitting name for the likes of Siggy and Ingen. Finally, there's Hemming Blackbriar, the direct heir to Maven's business empire. Whereas his two siblings are sadistic, Hemming is just plain stupid. Infatuated with wealth and fine dining, he has little to no skills when it comes to being a businessman or a leader, and it seems that even he acknowledges this to an extent. Whenever he talks about how important the family is, he talks of his mother and not himself. For instance, stating that, Maven didn't get to the position of Jarl with blind luck. Her business sense and diplomatic skills 
or legendary. Although Hemming might be adept at following his mother's commands, I wonder what will happen to the family after she eventually kicks the bucket. There's also another disturbing detail about Hemming Blackbriar. At night time, he can often be found sleeping in the same bed as his mother, raising suspicions as to whether they are in an incestuous relationship. Given how fixated Maven Blackbriar is on maintaining her family's power and her blatant nepotism when she becomes Jarl, I wouldn't put it past her if she felt that it was only fitting she only mated within her family. Maybe it's a long-running tradition, hence why her two younger children seem so messed up. Maven Blackbriar is also an idiot because she believes that she's more powerful than she is in reality. She can be found at the dinner party at the Thalmor Embassy, and if you ask her what her relationship with the Thalmor is, she'll tell you that they have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Empire and the Thalmor, but I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Her assumption is that the Thalmor and her family are almost equals, but there's no way that a family of corrupt businessmen are as powerful as the Thalmor and the Old Mary Dominion. The reason they leave her alone probably isn't because she's so powerful, but because they don't care about her or about Riften. The town's hardly worth the effort of infiltrating or influencing from the Thalmor's perspective. Maven is also clearly a fool because she doesn't recognise the Thalmor as her enemy. If she had more than one brain cell, she would probably take an interest in the Empire's politics because the Old Mary Dominion literally wants to destroy all of humankind. If I was in her position, I'd be using my power to try and weaken the Old Mary Dominion, be that through trade or spying. Although Maven sides with the Empire in the Skyrim Civil War, this isn't because she believes in the Empire, but rather because it's best for her business. I imagine the effect of Skyrim leaving the Empire would be similar to Brexit, that is to say, bad for Skyrim's trading relations and economy. To sum up the Blackbriars, for all their power and influence, the family's doomed in the long term. Although Maven might be ruthless and smart, she's alienated the population that she seeks to rule, and her legacy will be left in tatters by her sadistic and stupid children. Sibby and Ingen have no intention to help the family improve its status and simply leech off their mother's wealth, whilst Hemming will be useless without his mother to tell him what to do. So in short, I don't think the Blackbriars will be in their influential, powerful position for much longer. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave suggestions below for what idiots or geniuses I should ridicule next. And I also have another series where I suggest why you should or shouldn't join certain factions. So leave recommendations for any faction you want investigating as well. Also, if you just want to generally see more Elder Scrolls lore, then feel free to subscribe. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. They really do help me out. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.